Hi guys, welcome back. You are probably a family member that needs to get a gift for a golfer and they've probably got everything right. So today I'm going to do a video for you to go through a little gift guide that's going to help you hopefully on the run up to Christmas get something that a golfer in your life really really wants or really needs. Here's my top tips of what to buy the golfer this Christmas. So my first tip on a gift for a golfer is an easy one. It's golf balls. Every golfer needs them, every golfer loses them, and it's a very easy gift to get for them. If you happen to know what golf ball they like to play, then try and get that golf ball for them. But if you're not sure, set yourself a budget about 20 to 30 quid. Now, good brands to stick to when you're buying golf balls are Titleist. If you don't go to Titleist, you've got other brands like Wilson, Trixon, TaylorMade, Callaway. There's a long list. If you stick to the big brands like Titleist, you can't get wrong. So if you can stick to white golf balls because they're generally the more popular ones but you can get some pretty funky colours nowadays which a lot of golfers do like to play with especially in the winter the yellow golf ball is quite popular so next up is accessories all golfers need accessories and the list of potential accessories you could get a golfer is endless but the next thing that runs out quicker than golf balls for a golfer is tees so what I recommend is something like this. Castle tees, really popular with golfers. Most popular would be the orange, pink, red, and green tees. They're like the most common. And the best thing is they're only a couple of quid per pack. So they're a nice cheap way of, of you know, adding something to the stocking at Christmas. Obviously something that's better for the environment would be the wooden tees. And my recommendation would be something like this, the Pride Professionals. Again, they're color coded for different heights. So nice and easy for the golfer to kind of put into the floor at the right height for the club they're using. But again, they're good value at about five pound a pack. And finally going into the winter and going off mats for a lot of golf clubs, the pyramid tee is a good option. It's basically they sit on top of the mat and there's nothing to push into the ground. So they're very easy to use and they're also much harder to lose than a normal tee as well. So again, they only cost a couple of quid. The other thing golfers go through nearly as quickly as balls and tees are gloves. So obviously for someone that is into golf, gloves can be a bit of a minefield when it comes to buying them. Generally you have two types, leather gloves and all weather gloves, which is synthetic leather. Leather gloves feel a bit better when you use them, but they don't last maybe quite as long. Synthetic leather gloves or all weather gloves as they might be called, last a bit longer and are a little bit cheaper. So sometimes they're the preferred option for golfers. The other options you've got are Rain gloves work better when it gets wet, and also winter gloves, which work better when it gets colder. Set yourself a budget of about 10 quid to 30 quid, and you'll get a decent glove for that golfer. Brands to look out for would be, top of the list would be Footjoy. If you can't find Footjoy, then any other big brand in golf like Callaway, Wilson, Titleist, Ping, all of those above would, would offer a good glove. So obviously the other difficulty with buying gloves for someone else is knowing what size to get. The best thing to do is find their golf bag, try and find the glove in that bag and inside the glove is normally printed with the size. And if you can't do that, just ask them. So my next recommendation is obviously based more on the time of year that we're going into right now, which is the winter. It's gonna get cold, it's gonna probably get wet as well. So maybe some gifts that help keep your golfer warm and dry would be good. So my top of that list would be quite in fashion at the moment, the winter snood. So it helps protect, keep the neck nice and warm, also offers a bit of face protection if they pull it up over their chin. Obviously you've got bubble hats, getting more stylish and the best way to keep your head warm in the winter. And then mitts are also a great way or a great gift for the golfer. A lot of them now will come weatherproof, so they'll have waterproofing on the outside and some will even come with the ability to attach to a trolley handle. So if someone trolleys then the mitts will actually strap onto the handle of the trolley. You can even get them now that plug into the trolley and start to warm up whilst you're going around which I do actually recommend. I think they're a great option if someone does trolley. Get them some winter mitts to heat up. And finally for winter gift ideas although it's a bit boring brollies. Can't go wrong with them. Every golfer will want a brolly when they're out there and they get caught in the rain. So if you can get them a good brolly again it makes a great gift for this time of year.
So my final recommendations are two alternatives to the big gift, like buying someone a set of clubs. They cost a lot of money, so I wanted to keep this gift guide to something that's kind of more attainable for most people. So rather than spending those hundreds and sometimes thousands of pounds on a new club, the best next thing you can get that golfer is a custom fitting. So normally you can go into most pro shops and buy a voucher that will then allow someone to come in and have a custom fit. And from that custom fit, obviously they'll have uh, a new set of clubs or a new club that will fit them perfectly. You can say that you've bought them a custom fit as well as contributed a little bit towards the new set. And last but not least in my recommendations of gifts could be one of the most valuable presents that you could give a golfer, and that is golf lessons. Generally, you don't have to spend more than 50 quid on a golf lesson voucher. I happen to know quite a good pro that offers golf lessons in the Bristol area, so why not go and check him out? So that's it guys, that's my gift guide for Christmas for all you non-golfers that are looking to buy gifts for the golfer in your life. I hope it's useful, I hope you find the gift that you're looking for. I hope whoever you give it to likes it as well. Thanks for watching, stay safe and have a great Christmas.